Where's our munchkins? I like the Dunkin' Munchkins myself, the ones that come to donut holes. Well, but, uh, you those, yeah, probably out of any machine, but yeah. we're talking much different <laughs> yeah. this morning. Uh, much more talent involved there. A family classic has made its way to the Indianapolis stage. Talking about, if you haven't guessed it by now, The Wizard of Oz, which is playing through the weekend at Clues Hall on the Butler campus. A special treat this morning. Our Sunrise reporter, Chris Kirshner, takes us backstage to show us what makes this production so magical. Yeah, The Wizard of Oz here at Clues Memorial Theater, a great show for the whole family, but we're bringing you backstage, and check this out. Do you love it? Channeling my inner munchkin, because we're here at the wardrobe department. This is so important uh, to this show, the costumes and everything, so let's find out a little bit more about what goes into it. Uh, these are all the wonderful costumes you're going to see for this show, and Meg Parasich is the woman in charge of it all. She is in charge of wardrobe. What a big job that is, especially for a production like The Wizard of Oz. Yeah, I have a lot of actors to keep track of, a lot of, a lot of bits and pieces. A lot of color, a lot of sparkle that goes into this. Talk about how important costuming is, especially for a show like this. On a show like this, I feel like the audience, they know the songs, they know the show, but something they really come for is to see the visuals. They want to see the sparkly Emerald City. They want to see the munchkins. They want to see the bad guys, the Winkies. They want to see my Wicked Witch and my Glenda. So having all of that on stage right there in front of them, I think that that adds a whole new element. I mentioned this is one of the Munchkin outfits, and what's interesting is how you, it's an illusion of the eye, because they're not all real small, right. but because of the way this is set up, it's built to make them look wider, so it minimizes their height. Okay, the last thing I need is to look wider, by the way, so <laughs> I'm not going to be wearing this for very long, but you do see a lot of the green Emerald City. You mentioned the Winkies, which are the guards, basically, uh, at the Witch's Castle. Head to toe, though, so let's show you some of the footwear. I mean, check this out, guys, the beautiful greens, and just look how embellished it is. If you're wondering what this is, I bet you can guess. This goes with the monkey costumes, those, uh, those uh, kind of creepy monkeys that were with the witch. And this is the mask, too. You just really have to see this when it's on stage. It's pretty incredible. But, of course, the shoes, the footwear we really want to see, those amazing ruby Rubies. slippers. And there they are, all sparkly and a little bit of a heel on him. So when Dorothy yeah. sings and dances on that yellow brick road, she's really got to know what she's doing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to give too much away. I want you to see the show. Uh, but we're not done backstage here. We're also going to show you some of the great props that go into it. But Meg, thank you so much for all your work. No it's a fantastic show. Information about it, by the way, guys, we'll have it on our website at WTHR.com. In the meantime, maybe I'll see what else I can get into.